Broadcasting live from the Treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. It's Beer Googles. Double E. Double O. Double G. With Chris Woodsy Peralta and Mark Poles. From the home office in Gilbert, Arizona. <laughs> Gastrointestinal problems. Excuse us. There's no Dana. Only Zool. I'll get you, get it. Yeah, him too. What's up, buddy? Hi. It's been like weeks. It's been like 16 days. I don't know. 17 days? No, 19. 19. Always no, no, no. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. We? Sunday, Sunday. I've had some stuff going on. No, you didn't. So I took a mini sabbatical of like a week or two. A week or two? I had to get my mind right. Your mind? Yeah. No, my mind's better. I'm glad to hear that. Nothing else is better, but my mind's better. (laughs) No one else's mind. Uh, well, whether your mind is better or not is questionable. Yes. Well, my mind's better. But Everyone the, else is still jacked. The way okay. I the way I can make my mind better is by fucking everyone else's brains up. Um, yeah. Do you have a, how's your agenda going on that? Googles. The Googs. The beer. The, the Google de cervezas. Yes, but not surveys. No. Says today. No. No surveys today. No. We're doing. We talked about this one for a while. Have we? I feel like we have. Sure. Um, cause we grew up with weird shit. Yeah. Uh, what this reminds what? me of is you remember the Saturday Night Live skit with, is it Bill Murray or is it Dan Aykroyd where they had the Christmas toys? Yeah. The and bag of glass. Bag of- Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. Thank you. The Boston Matic 5,000. Uh, yes. The bag of glass. Bag of glass. Bag of glass. And this made me think of like, what kind of weird shitty fucking toys did we have growing up? Not just dangerous, but also just generally like, holy shit, everyone lined up for a freight, like Tickle Me Elmo, which is way outside our range, right? Right. But we do recall that being on the, on the news during Christmas shopping, Black Friday garbage. How many, how many motherfuckers got stabbed over that fucking Elmo? Seven. That's it? I don't know. I feel like, and the Black Friday, like where all the Walmart people, people get got, trampled to they death. Get, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. For a, so, yeah. But these are fun toys. Um, I, I, I have some that are not toys. Okay, are they game? What are they? Uh, liquids. Oh, great! Liquids grown like uh, bug juice. Not like bug juice. Oh, isn't that a TV show? I don't know, but I remember bug juice was that weird colored punch that used to remember those little colored punches. It was just it was basically red, green, orange, or yellow sugar water. Delicious. Yeah, we just called it bug punch. That was what we bug called punch. it. Bug punch. So like jungle like juice. Punch. Yeah, but without different. the alcohol. Okay. I mean, man, they might have given it to us because we were like at least 12 or 13 at the yeah, time. Yeah, definitely we were, spiked. We were drinking by then. Oh, yeah. Not me, <laughs> but go ahead. Not, not, neither I. Sure. All right. D- liquids? Yeah. Because I thought the rule was no not, no fashion trends. Yeah. Like the mullet or the lamb chop or the big collars or the bell bottoms. Because we're going to do one of those. So right. anything outside of that. Okay, perfect. So I put some drinks on here. Toys, games, drinks. Yeah. yeah. Growing up. Yeah. I saw one where, like, you know how they have these listy things on these right. internets? They had, like, Monster Energy Drink was, like, defined the 2000s. And I'm like, uh. Well, it's still around, Yeah, though. it's still around. Like, and that, it just seemed weird, but I it's like It's on it. Tiger Woods Golf Bag, for Christ's sake. Not right now. He's no, not right now, but it was a couple months ago. <laughs> that's not, that's not very nice. Oh, isn't it? Uh, too soon? I wonder what fucking club was going at his head when he fucking rolled it over that time. <clears throat> uh, nine iron. Today. Yes. March 7th. What? 2020. W- one. One. 2020. Damn it. One. You know what it was? What was it? 2020 was my fad year. It was that's your fad it's, it's it's, year? your fad year? Yeah, that's why I say 2020 still. You, you do? I don't know. Okay. No. But it's 2021. Yeah. It's March 7th. Yeah. And we we used we we still do record in arrears, of course, but we've we've All the narrowed the gap, so we might actually have this within a month of us. Shut up! This. Yeah, pretty amazing, pretty impressed. Okay. Well, with that said, you said you had how many? Sixteen. Sixteen. But five of them are liquids. And those are the ones you joined, or are you combining them into one? Or is, well, yeah, we have? can just bust through them. I am ready whenever you. Right, are. quick. Well, what, how would you like to do this? I don't give a shit. Run it. Okay. Starting with the liquids of the fad type. Tab. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, can the you still even get a tab? Saccharin. 
Mm, it's saccharin. Fucking it. I don't have saccharin on my list, dude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Equal or uh, that's, no sweet and low. The oh pink. yes, pink with saccharin. Oh, the rat cancers, delicious. They discontinued it. Oh. I have an article, October sixteenth of twenty twenty. Goodbye, tab. Coca Cola will discontinue the. But you had you, so. you never saw a tab after like nineteen ninety. I found one in a supermarket here and there, but it takes an act of God and a lot of work. I don't even remember what it tastes like. Shit. Does it? Liquid. It tastes like the color that comes out. is a, It's almost it's like a Dr. Peppery it's color. Poop? But worse. I remember Dr. Pepper might have prune juice in it. So. Whoa. Uh, okay. I guess. Uh, do you recall that tab was in Back to the Future? Yes. Give me a tab. But you haven't ordered anything yet. <laughs> Give me a Coke. 50 trade. What do you say? Was that when he, go, when he went back? Yes. Marty, <laughs> so I'm tabs, sorry I fucking tabs, brought it up. No, Tab's beautiful. That's a that's an excellent choice. All right, anyone, people, Twitter world, does anyone still try to drink Tab? Or on Oct- in October of last year, did you stock up knowing that Tab's going? Like out? when Twinkies went away. Oh what, yeah. What, was it was it Twinkies that went away Twinkie, or something else? Twinkies went and then came back. It's weird. They did some weird stuff. But yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, it was sure. Well, Twinkies interesting. You want to hear the etymology of Twinkie? We probably shouldn't. That's sure. Yeah. During the war time in the forties, it used to be a banana cream. Okay, but bananas were rationed, okay. so they went from that banana cream to vanilla cream. Never went back. Okay, so they used to be a nickel a piece. Wow, per per. per. And I think they were served individually; they weren't in a double. Yeah, but then with the you know America, we have to have supersize our Twinkies. America, I'd like a supersized Twinkie, please. <laughs> you mean two? You don't want <laughs> oh, yeah, a big Twinkie yeah, that looks, looks like a fucking I corn dog. <laughs> I want a Twinkie the you size want, of my head. You want two? Okay, sure, two. What the shit? Amen to that. All right. What is your next liquid? Pepsi Clear. Holy. You're welcome. Fuck, I know where you're going with the, one of them now. Uh, duh, obviously. Uh, Pepsi fucking. I bought that hoping I would like it. And I bought it and I kept buying it thinking that it would kick in. It's a great. It's a. Acquired it's taste. An acquired, it's like scotch. Pepsi Clear. Just like scotch. Totally acquired taste. You know what it reminds me of? What? Sports teams. You know when a new sports team exists like. Jacksonville uh, Jaguars, Las Vegas Knights is yeah. a great example. Okay. How many people jumped on that LVK fucking band bandwagon right away? Going, that's my that's my new team. That's my team. I'm going to stick with that team because it's brand new. And then if it goes, you go. I was there from the beginning. Okay, that's what my crystal clear. I wanted to be the clear Pepsi guy, and I hated it every <laughs> sip I took. <laughs> I, I, it literally tastes like shit. I don't remember. I remember it. Having it many times, but I don't remember what it tasted like. Not good. I, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> it just was not good. I, don't, oh, God. I wonder I don't if we should that. have mixed Pepsi Clear and Tab and see what happens. I think we should have picked... Like Suicide Tab. What if you mix Pepsi Clear with Pepsi Double Black? I don't know what that Double Dark. Is. Well, the, okay, so Pepsi's Clear... And you make the Pepsi color that is now double its darkness, and then you mix them together? And they, would it be normal, clear, pe- like it a would, normal it Pepsi would be color? Pepsi. <laughs> be Pepsi. It's funny. I'm wondering what they added to that. Did they just add bleach to make it clear? Definitely bleach. <laughs> it's like a swimming pool. Well, it's like it's a Lisa. chlorine, dude. Well, it's like a Lisa talking about the, uh, I, the Baja Blast. Yes. Okay, so you've got your Mountain Dew, and you've got your... Whatever the shit... Uh, Powerade blue. Yes. Powerade blue something. Yeah. And, but you make sure you put the Mountain Dew in first, correct? You add the bot. The I don't remember Powerade. which one was first, but yeah. There was I, a very important process to be followed to mix it correctly. I know why. Why? Mountain Dew is a lighter yellow color and the other one's a darker color. You always add the dark to the to the light because the dark will change the light way more than the light affects the dark when you mix them. I know it sounds weird, but. What are we talking about? The Mountain Dew Baja oh, Blast. Oh, okay. They're what? talking about space or something. We're milking. We... Oh, that was actually on the video. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Uh, right, next liquid. Uh, Sir. Obviously, what's the next liquid? New Coke. New Coke. Son of a bitch. You're welcome. You know the story behind that? No. New Coke, taste test, Pepsi. So basically, Coca-Cola used sugar cane up in, to, that, to that point, basically, for the most part. Right. And Pepsi had already gone to... Artificial sweeteners? Well, corn syrup, which is oh. cheap. Cheap cheap th- sugar. Cheap sugar. Basically, it's a sweetener, but the problem with corn syrup is it doesn't trigger your full in your stomach. Uh, so you could keep drinking it. Like, you could just 
drink soda without getting full. However, you ever have a, a sugar, like a Mexican Coke? Or, I have those all the time. Right. Or a Jones soda and you feel bloated after? No. A little bit? You don't feel bloated at all? Like even like, because nah, the sugar. It's probably the four tacos that I have with the Coke that makes me feel bloated. Oh, well, it helps. But <laughs> regardless, the sugar does wait, like wake up that full sense, right? Okay. So they test it, taste test against each other. Pepsi is getting its ass kicked by new Coke in blind taste tests. Okay. Coke's like, oh shit, this is better than pe people like this more than Pepsi, and it's cheaper for us because it's all corn syrup. So then they fucking just shut down the classic Coke, not thinking that there are people like us. Right. You're a baseball guy. I'm a hockey. I'm a purist. Right. You're like, a, you're like, a, what happened to my class? What happened to my? It wasn't even classic. It was yet. just Coke. It was just Coke. It was Coca Cola. It was Coca Cola. Right. Now everyone says Coke Classic. Right. Mm -hmm. It's funny because there isn't even a new one to compare it to anymore. But uh, so they, they launched it and what was it like a month? It, it was, was very pretty, quick. Yeah. Just flopped. But I liked it. I liked, I it liked too. the taste. The, the taste wasn't the problem. Right. I think it was the marketing. It was the, the, it was the backlash. It was the backlash of you took my coke away. Can you from imagine me. what they, if they did that today? The, the social media backlash would be amazing. Think of all the great tweets. I have a thought. And, and all the bullshit that would come out. Because somebody doesn't like new Coke. I think that would be so funny to follow. What if the Big Mac changed? Okay. They take out the middle bun and they switch it with and something else. And the buns have no seeds? And the, <laughs> yeah, something like that, right? Place fucking goes ape shit, man. People Good fucking do crazy shit. I go to McDonald's way too much. Why? Why wouldn't I? It's gross. It is? Yeah. Not when, not when it's like seeped into every pore of your body. The chemicals kind of, my body's so much McDonald's that like I only accept McDonald's. Is that your blood nutrients. type? Are you M? What's <laughs> your, are you O positive? No, I'm M. I'm M negative. <laughs> not just Mark negative. No, it's McDonald's, McDonald's negative. negative. Oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm M positive. I'm M. Speaking of thick blood, uh, yeah, uh, is that the special sauce? What? <laughs> Thousand Island blood? What? Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Imagine that social media backlash, even though the new burger was better and then it just wasn't the Big Mac. Right. Oh, people would fucking go. We already have a dog. The dog, the blind dog is pissed off right now all oh. about this conversation about the McDonald's backlash. How many liquids did you have? Five. Five. So that's three, right? Dos Mas. Correct. So far. Yes. Is that tab? Yes. Clear Pepsi. They're not. I'm. Um, uh, yeah, what? I'm throwing a flag on you. Why? They're not in chronological order. Chronological order. I don't give a fuck. I do because they're. Yes, I can't they follow are your in, documentary. They are in chronological order of the way they came into my brain, bitch. God damn, you had you have me. You had me at Pepsi I, Clear. I was trying to use your documentary st standards on you. This is not a documentary. It's not, it's not this is traditional, bro. Order. Well, it's real fake. Yes. It's re really in like fake. Pepsi Clear. It's really fake. Liquid number four. So. Uh, the next two are alcoholic. Yes. You, I know you're going to get one. Come on, give me the Give me the other one first. The other one is Southern Comfort Clear, I which didn't. I drank my junior year of college, 1990, 1991. I drank it a lot, and I mixed it with, like, crystallite iced tea, and I couldn't. Tell the difference. I couldn't tell if it was spiked or not. Southern iced tea or something? Yeah, like that. I was like, oh, God. It's so good. I love those. <laughs> and I, I, you know, that was a flash in the pan, just whoo, gone. That what? is true. I, and it may have been called Southern Comfort something else, but it was the bottle was clear. It was clear alcohol. You know, eighty proof. I think it was Southern Comfort clear. I, I, I think so too. I didn't have that, but I do have a Southern Comfort story. Sure. So, are you familiar with Rita's Water Ice? Over no, here? of course okay, not. So, Rita's Water Ice exists in the valley. Okay. It's R I T A. Rita's Water Ice. Okay. It's water ice, but not water. But it's from Philly, so we said water ice. Um, it was a firefighter's wife who made this thing out of her out of her like kitchen because her husband was under on workman's comp because he hurt his back like fighting fighting fires, and then it starts selling out of the back of her house, and now there's like thousands of locations, and not ever, any one of them has ever gone under. And basically, it's a slushy, what you would call Italian ice or whatever. It's like basically, and they're around the valley. You've not seen one. 
You might so it's it. water and ice. Yeah, I but never heard it was called Rita's firm? before. No, no, Rita's the company. Like I didn't the know. I've never. Yes, I've, yeah. There was one by my old house. Yeah, that so I've you been call to. an Italian ice. But they have ice cream too, and they, they have, do gelato. They have like, candies and shit. A little bit. And they, they've but added they have to that. that Hawaiian ice, Hawaiian right. shaved ice. It's type, not shaved. Yes, but it's like that. Correct. Okay. It's, yes, it's, it's like a mix between shaved ice. A slushy and, and an, an Italian icy. ice. Yeah, and an Italian ice. You remember the ones with the wooden spoon they yeah. used to get with the lemon? Lemon, cherry, those were a lot of... Anyway, what happened was we used to take a cherry... We used to get a pint of the cherry water ice because it had real bits of like the grenadine cherries in them and yeah. stuff. We'd pour the Southern Comfort in there. Oh, shit. Best dessert. On a hot day? Oh, yeah. Grab some Southern Comfort. Oh, get some yeah. cherry water ice on your way home. Water. On your way home? Uh, there is thing, one on your way home. Good thing I'm on my motorcycle and I don't have, I don't have a couple... You don't need to. Just... Get the helmet with the two things. Oh my! Has anyone invented that yet? Not for motorcycles. The motorcycle two helmet drink thing? No. It's called a Camelback, and you just that's not. <laughs> no, it looks better with the helmet thing because it's like uh, yeah. Know, but if like, you're doing eighty eight on the freeway, will will it stay in there? How stable is this device? It will be very stable because we're going to put a bottle of Southern Comfort Clear with a straw directly. Good thing in the I'm mouth. doing eighty eight yeah, and drinking alcohol. Motorcycle. That's the point, and then. <laughs> Just bring the cherry icy and we're done. Oh, that sounds delicious. You could probably do it with the cherry icy, but the water ice is really where it's at. But you could also do that with like a fruit in it. You could also do it with like a a Route 44 cherry limeade from Sonic. You know what I mean? All think right. about Can we like just shut it down think about the high C orange from McDonald's, which they're bringing back spiked. Did they get rid of that? Yeah, they just brought it back like last week. Did, why? Why did they get rid of it? Why did they not? Dude, do it? Ask Ronald. I loved high C orange. Who didn't before the before the big D? What's the big D? Diabetes. Oh, um, I was like Dick. Oh, no. diabetes. Yeah, I don't. I was ever, like, I, okay. I didn't know you were gay, but I was like, for, hey, good for you, bro. If that's a, your thing. I never get the big D. Okay. I only give, and secondly, when I give, it's not a big D. So that's how it works. It's just a regular D. Maybe, maybe regular, average D. <laughs> Lowercase D. It's a uh, medium small D. Yeah, <laughs> extra okay. medium. Extra medium. <laughs> I'd like the extra medium magnum condom, please. Oh God. All right. At drink number five. You have me on pins and needles because I don't know. You know this one, know dude. It. Is it a beer? No. Well because like there's a lot of like Bud Light Limes and all this weird no, 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 shit no, no, that no. people fucking no, put no, out. No, no. Okay. Just give it to me. Zima. That doesn't exist anymore? I don't think so. I don't know, oh, dude. We're not talking about discontinued. It's no, just the other ones like, happen to it be. It was so popular for yeah. like three days. Okay, maybe 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 a year. It came out when I believe you either were in your tail end of high school and I was in the beginning of my high school because we're only about three years apart. It was right Probably, in that time. I'd say college, man. Was it right? Nineteen like ninety ish. And we wanted and Zima was was kind of marketed for non men. It was trendy and all that shit. But let's say it was marketed for not men, but men yes. had to kind of act like they like it. Cause let's be honest. We have to like what women like for any woman to like us. Uh, that's way. fucking terrible. It's, it sounds weird, but yeah. You're correct. Sure. I'm not going to lie. I'm, look, I love Megzy, but yeah, Megzy's running it. <laughs> Megzy, Megzy tells she me she likes something. Bro? I'm like, yeah. Was, I'm sorry. I, do you like duvet covers? I was just going to say, I like a duvet cover. <laughs> that we still haven't bought. Thank God. Oh, fuck. Thank really? God that Megzy's procrastination on Anyone, that is, is, big, is greater than her desire to have it. Isn't that so, amazing? Yeah. I'm very happy for her. In this specific instance, mm -hmm. easiness. Love it. So the next question is White Claw and all those things like White Claw, are they the Zima of today? Yes. So Spar seltzer or sparkling, this new sparkling light seltzer. -y. Like a Bud Light seltzer and Corona this. And like there's like 12 out, right? But I think White Claw was one of the first, or the first that got popular. Yes. Like maybe well, say they were 2019, 2018. They were like an independent. So they, I think it's women owned as well. So there was a lot of push for White Claw, which is awesome. Oh, it's it's okay. a great story. But it's what, super what trendy. Saying, right. But they're also independent. So they they kind of like almost went viral outside of. Yeah, you know, I get that. It's kind of like a musician. I, I, I use our, our, our food choices or drink choices kind of trendy like music is right like music goes through changes oh absolutely like disco to rap to oh, uh, pop disco. To, to rock to uh, classic right to Whatever. fucking slayer what's funny is classic rock was just rock yeah, correct <laughs> then it, then it became rock. old right. rock then it's old now it's old it's like it? new coke but different <laughs> so so what happened is though um you come out of that and you it's that's what that's what these drinks are but the it's almost like What's an artist, Macklemore, who did it outside of the industry, the music industry, for example? 
where Z, this White Claw seems to like, they just got this awesome. Did they get bought out I, by I wonder Bud Light or something? I wonder if they're actually. Kind of like how Four Peaks Brewery is now owned by Bud. I wonder if. Or Anheuser-Busch, whatever. I think privately. I wonder if White Claw's got real, real money, money behind it. Because this is the conspiracy part. White Claw, the conspiracy? Yes. Part two. Yeah, so the, the question is, when will the trendiness of these types of drinks fade? When does that start? When does it start to fade away? When the next one comes in. I hate to say it, but that's kind of how it works. Just next shiny metal object. Right. Because right? we do trends. We do. We, I, I use music as a great example because I've listened to like the regular pop stations and the pop stations is what they, they just feed us, right? They spoon feed us their music. We, we don't. So choose we're the music. being spoon fed white claw. Well, we're, we're being spoon fed. One every can product. at a time. Aren't we technically being uh, presented with products to buy out all times? This isn't a bad thing. It's just the way it's it is. The nature right? of capitalism. It's the nature of what it is. For, I remember for a six month period, whistling in songs was like a big thing, like like a, like some intro thing that had a whistle part, and then accordion got big for six months. So oh, it was like a ranchero feel, and then nice. it had this other. So they go through these genres, right, of, of taste, and I think that's it's just till the next one comes out. And you know who's to blame for that? The Scorpions. The winds of change. Yes, and they did make the change. <laughs> uh. So, Follow them on and down, down to Gorky Park. I'm a terrible singer. Listen for the wind. Uh, Klaus minus the Scorpions. So when does the? Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. The album cover uh, yeah. took me a second. Nice. Rock like a hurricane, right? Yeah. No, or, it was the album no, after the that. album after that. Yeah. Uh, and I kept getting them mixed up with Crocus. Remember Crocus back then? I, I do remember the video Crocus. on MTV. Yeah. Uh, so when is the next shiny metal object going to come along? How how long has Seltzer been out? A year? Two? I'd um, say another two year. To it's three. got another year. And they're going to go from like Seltzer to, I think they're going to overcorrect and go to like. Dark beers? Over, like, no, like a heavier flavor, like a stronger flavor versus a lighter Like with flavor. vodka? Because how much more like water can we make alcohol taste now? Uh, I mean, unless that's what they want, because they just want you fucking hammered out of your mind. Well, of course, that's what we want to be. I, at the Costco, I saw alcoholic popsicles. They basically it was like an otter pop, Jello shots, and otter pops. But it, yeah, it, I mean, it was in a little tube of plastic, like an otter pop, but it wasn't clear, and it had like six flavors in it, and it was it was a wine based one, and it was only. 10 or 12 percent alcohol like but yeah i mean i'm not a wine person but i mean a nice warm day at, at the pool that sounds refreshing right that's a costco right costco or sam's club did you see the the jello shot ones they've no. pre-made jello shots you just put in the freezer wow so they're in the cup in the thing mixed pre-mixed wow that's fucking why didn't you and i not fucking come up with this when we were making 800 of them for at the armory for fucking <laughs> founder's day or whatever <laughs> that's shit right <laughs> you oh, remember that shit yeah, fucking so trays but we're gonna. <laughs> I like to refer back to the jungle juice comment. <laughs> they were fucking grammar. Those were awesome. You're just taking a pitch and you're pouring them all in. It's going everywhere. You're throwing them in the freezer. You can only do like how many? Because we have like we have what our home freezers. Edward College. Yeah. Kids. Oh, it's great. Fucking Jello shots. Don't enjoy that day. Was a Jello shot a fad? No, I, I a think medium. it became repopular. I think it did uh, more I, recently. I. But like clothing song, I think that does that that cyclical thing. Yeah, of course. Right? Like yeah. a lot of people wear like the Cindy Lauper 80s clothes that they used to. But like f there was like a little fad for a few months where that came back for a bit. Yeah. With the leggings and the, the poofy skirt and the weird, like the gloves and the Cindy Lauper. -y. And Madonna. Yes. Madonna. Madonna. Uh, yes. That was really quick though. That, yeah, that was. comeback was. was super yeah. fast. And bell bottoms came and went pretty quickly. That was only a few. I'm like, thank God. Because even... I'm not a trendy person. I don't think we need to. I, I mean, a t-shirt. Uh, that trendy. never goes out of style. I'll tell you what does, though. I'll tell you Comfort. what. Comfort. And bell bottoms do not, they just feel like someone's hanging on your ankles all the time because they're swishing and sloshing. This is not a fashion trend, sir. I know. That's all the liquids I have. Oh, liquids. All right. I'm going to have to go to the bathroom because we've been talking about liquids the whole time. It's awful. Awful, man. What's your first one? I'll go. I'm just going to fucking not. The 80s was all about this, and it's trends into multiple. I'm going to bunch them. Cabbage patch slash garbage patch. Garbage, garbage patch. Pa garbage garbage pail. pail. Um, Cabbage patch kids fucking. Holy shit. 
during the 1983 Christmas shopping. This is 83. I don't. I have to look up the population of the United States at that time. Three million of them were sold. Three million. There are. Think about it. Even we have 330 million now. That's one percent of people had a cabbage, cabbage patch. patch kid. That that seems like a large number. It does. Because I bet you the the population was 220. Yeah. 221. It's, I, didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that. But 44, 45. I'm looking it up while you talk about it. Tell me about your garbage pail and I had neither. patch collection. And I had none of those. Your sister? She was 10 years older than me, so definitely she not. missed it. Damn. Yeah. It's very sorry to disappoint you, uh, but I don't have any cabbage patch or garbage pail kid paraphernalia. I never had one because I was too much into Star Wars and Legos. I started with the garbage pails with the carts. Yeah, started. Right. And then went, nah. I was more into com- a little more into the comic collection. Like, I like collectibles, but the because I always did stamps growing up and some other stuff. Nerd. But, um, yeah. Nerd. Yeah, don't call me a nerd, bro. You oh, said wait. I, I said it. Damn it. Um, but, uh, yeah. It was a collectible thing, but then it went away pretty quickly. But then they had the doubles. They had the next set. So, like, these things are highly like sought after. Well, they had like a first edition print and a oh. second edition print. So like Susie Sally throw up face was like, <laughs> was Julie, Julie and dumpster Julie Deb Bo- and big booty Judy. Yes. Was bulimic, bulimic Barbie. Like oh, at that time, you know what I mean? Bulimic Bobby. You called her Roberta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what did you say the population was? 220. You son of a bitch. I, I was just. Two thirty three point eight. That's fucking. Off. That's I was off by thirteen million. That's impressive. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's a small. I just point. thought we're three thirty now. In nineteen eighty three, I'm guessing two twenty. That's only like one point five percent. That's pretty darn good. Thanks. That's, that's pretty amazing. So congratulations. Like, like, I, I once again, I win nothing. Yeah, you don't get anything for uh, it. You um, just okay. talk and talk. So garbage patch, cabbage patch, bale, kids. All of them. Every kid was carrying them around. I lived in fucking waspy fucking suburbia, Philadelphia. So it was all affluent, you know, middle, well, middle aged, all hard workers, middle aged people with with lawns that they had to mow. And every one of those fucking kids had a cabbage patch, man. That was, I don't remember seeing one. You were in Cali. I don't know what Cali but is. But it was always, I never, like, it wasn't big with, with the boys. You well, know? boys, not, yeah, men, it was a, it was I a would, girl's thing. The garbage there, pail was men. Centric because they were disgusting cards of it was like the antithesis to the yes cabbage right patch. right right so that was actually the boy but there were tra- male toy. cabbage patch there right were, yes there were male cabbage patch and I would think you could look play with whatever the fuck you want yeah we don't I don't care, care. I I would guess that boys had little boy ones too I just I always saw the well I was interested in girls growing up so I always saw girls with, with cabbage patch yeah so it's not like I didn't see boys with them I just. Probably never looked. The people I hung out with didn't have them. So yes. that's, you know, the yeah. guys, basically everybody on my street that I played stickball with didn't have that shit. Did they ever bring, the kid, the girl, the, I'm going to say girls for la- young women, did they ever bring them into school? Not that I remember. I remember Not that shit. Once. The stroller and the fucking carry them and the fucking oh, blanket. The stroller. Ugh. The whole thing. Oh my God, are you okay? Oh, it's great. No, it was great. It was, it was amazing though that this thing, if you look at them, they're not even appealing looking in my opinion and they no. sold three million like at what 30 bucks a pop they must have been even back well, then they were probably 30 bucks a pop probably which now that's 80 so that's a hundred million dollars in cabbage God, patch kids damn. back in 83 dollars i don't know i know that's a, that's probably hyperbole a little bit because we don't know the exact numbers but interesting so you said you had 16 yeah five of them were drinks or you have 15 five more. of them were drinks of the 16 and you just stole one so I had Cabbage Patch Kids last oh, I'm sorry. on my list. No, that's totally fine. Um, however, you one just popped in my head because you said Cabbage Patch Kids. I thought, my buddy, my buddy, my, my buddy, buddy and me. me. And then also, kid sister. Kid yep. sister. That was the one that came out after. See, right. the my buddy was for the, right, it was yeah. kind of male marketed yeah. and like the garbage Cabbage Patch was right. the yep. Which also reminds me of Teddy Ruxpin because I had corduroy hey, pants whoa. like you did. Hey, what? That's that could possibly be on my list. Oh fuck! I'm so sorry. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. Okay, good. <laughs> I, my buddy, my, my buddy, buddy, wherever he goes, I, I go. Or wherever I go, he goes. <laughs> sure. Wherever I go, he goes. My buddy. That was really good. That's I loved. I so that was not on my list, but the commercial stick. That was a good one. That's a good one. I like it. 
All right. I hope this one is on your list. I'm I'm sticking with the ladies because back in the day, I liked the ladies when I was a kid. So I was hung around. Like I was like I would like doing the pigtail puller. I was a weirdo. You Care probably bears. still do that. Who Care, Care bears? bears? Oh, that's good. Because they they researched they had the animated series. They got huge, and then they came. They've made a kind of a comeback. They're cyclical, cyclical right? It's cyclical. Um, but Care Bears were awesome. How could you not like these cuddly little? Now that one totally love it. Fuzzy. TV show. They did really well. Love it. That's my, and then that's and I've got one more female one after that, and then it's all penises. No, I'm talking. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, no. no. What's your name? What's your name? Zumba. Zumba. Oh, sing it as Zumba. That's the thing that goes on the carpet and no. vacuums up. That's the dance workout. <laughs> Not the Roomba, but the Zuma. And no Zuffa. Remember Zuffa clothes? No. No, we're not going to go into fashion. But Zumba. Zumba. Did you take a Zumba class ever? Absolutely. Every Friday night. No. I would have. Why the fuck? Go what I wanted okay. to do was sit in the back of the class with a beer and a beanbag chair and watch all the freaking yoga pants of all the ladies. But I never did that. Because that would have been not Yoga good. pants were the trend. They would have had baggy clothes and we wouldn't even no, be able to Zumba see the just the, is, and is the, still and the tush. Zumba is in the last 10 years because they had one at my job yeah, after work. But tights are like... Uh, that using that as daily wear yoga pants is like a five less than five year trend. Um, it's just everywhere now. Well, I would say more than five. I'd okay. say ten. But yeah, I might Zumba is the weird dance workout. Yeah, I we could it. probably do a show on all <laughs> dumb workout routines. And we could just P90X. do it. And in the background, what we'll do is we'll we'll call Olivia Newton John and go, yes. Olivia, we're just gonna play your song on repeat very quietly throughout the entire four hour podcast. Yeah, and we'll give you forty eight cents royalty. Is that does that work for you? 50 cents. I said, Bobby, great. Okay. Danny. She's Australian? Sandy, yeah. So Australian Sandy dollars. Yeah. Okay. She, uh, she said blimey, I think is what she said. Blimey. Okay, I'm going to finish this last one. Because this, this I because we are three years, even three years is a huge gap in like toy trends and some things. True. I mean, I know now it's even more with technology, but back then it was still pretty big. Because you had to have the next hot item, right? Three words, sir. Okay. I gave you Garbage Patch, uh, I'm sorry, Cabbage Patch Kids, Care Bears, the third, come on, what goes along with Care Bears, what's like the perfect appetizer or dessert to Care Bears, that is, has that feminine energy. My Little Pony. Yes! I was thinking, I was yes. thinking Jen and the Holograms, oh, that was, I was thinking the Smurfs. That's only because we watched those shows. And then and I was like, session. oh, My Little Pony. My Little Pony. But you're right. Gem would come on. It was like Transformers, Lion, uh, Thundercats, Thundercats, Transformers, and G.I. Joe with Gem. And there was another, uh, it wasn't Josie. It was Gem with the holograms. And there was another show that was in there. I Land think of a, the Lost. I think it was My Little Pony, actually. The cartoon was in there somewhere at that point. But yeah, My Little, po or My Little Pony Care Bear, whatever it was. Do you know what a brony is? A brown pony? A brony. A friend of mine. I know what a jabroni is. A friend of mine was on meetup.com and there was a group. He joined a golf group uh, to meet people and play golf. And there was a group called the Bronies. So he clicked on it. And it's. Go ahead. I would like to guess. Please. Yes, you, sir. Go ahead. Men who dress up as ponies. Correct. And they watch My Little Ponies together. Do they do they put the tail in? I don't, I, I don't, and at, at this point, I don't think it's, I think it's a, all adults, not just men, but it's people that dress up do, do as my little pony in? and they watch the show together. Do, do, do they put the tail in? I don't think there's anything sexual about the show, sir. I'm sorry. I have to disappoint well, you. You heard of the furry thing where they like dress yeah, up as furries, animals and yes, bang correct. each other. Yeah, but br bronies and furries are not the same thing. Apparently not. No, bronies is completely <laughs> a, not naughty. <laughs> it's... What? Oh, do you see this where it reads Roadcaster Ro Pro? Yeah. I was going to put tape where it said Roadcaster Bro. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like it needed to be done and put up on a picture. That'd be funny. But you know, we should maybe Twitter that or Twitter, Twitter that. the Instagram. It. I don't even fucking know what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, no shit. Oh, shout out yeah. to a bar, if I may, okay. at uh, 16th, 16th Street and McDowell. The Boom Boom Room. <laughs> Megzy 
her bff and I went uh, Friday, and we met Lee, the bartender. Rashid is the owner. Go get a drink. Cool place. Yeah. Fun people. It's funny. Real funny story. Shortest tangent ever. She's a bartender. She was born in 96. It was only the three of us because we went like right at four o'clock. It was like very early in the day to start our night. Yeah. And we're sitting there. It's just the four of us chatting. And out of the blue, this woman who is what, 25 goes, what do you guys think of Michael Jackson? Completely out of the blue, like unsolicited anything just to the three of us. And we're three white people in this boom, boom, room park talking about Michael Jackson. It was the weirdest thing, but it was cool. It was like totally awesome. So shout out to Lee. Did you, did you, what did she say? Uh, I added her on Instagram, Lee and uh, the did Boom she, Boom Room. And so you told her about the podcast Told with her about the Taj. podcast, sent her the link with Taj and everything. What did she say about that? She said she was going to get a listen, but it was Friday, so it's, right. it's Sunday. But she, so. was she surprised that we got to interview him? I think, yes. Yeah, I go, have you heard of Taj Jackson? She's like, who's that? I go, Michael Jackson's like one of his oldest nephews. And then I told her about 3T and the whole thing, Charles and everything, because she's a true crime podcast. And that's uh, what it came up. okay. We didn't, it was weird how unsolicited, she just goes out complete out of blue like i would never thought that conversation would happen organically like that but it gave me a perfect opportunity to like hump her leg and be like we did a lot of podcasts with michael jackson (laughs) just like that that was a pretty good dog impersonation i can do the sniffy you have like a tourette's now i'm like I need a. I'm out of. Oxygen. You, need a you need a paper bag to breathe into. <sighs> I'm hyperventilating. I'm hyperventilating. All right. What's your next one, sir? What do we got after the ponies? Fidget spinners. That one is awesome. How new is that, though? Fairly, I would say the past ten years. For Did sure. we have it? Not as a kid. No. Was it before us and it retreated? No, I don't believe thing? so. I think it's a it was a newer thing in the past few years, and uh, apparently. I heard a I heard a rumor that uh, at another site at my job a former coworker had one, and it annoyed the shit out of everybody else, <laughs> which just cracked me up when I heard this because I've never had one or played with one or whatever. The f- I don't fucking I don't get it. But they came and went in like nine months. Like they were super popular and then whew, gone. Ninety nine percent of the things I do in my daily routine are because they annoy somebody else. And that's that part of your agenda? I don't. I don't have a personality. Like, you know, people are like, oh, wow, he's such a free spirit. No, I literally just do what other noise other people. So technically, I'm just as pigeonholed as anyone else. Why Why would you no, just do that? Just fucking around, man. I can't make a joke about annoying people. Sure. I know you all the fucking time, too. Oh, you do it on purpose? No. It's every, completely accidental? Every negative thing I do is completely... Uh, is not intentional, unintentional, completely unintentional. Unless I tell you, this is intentional. I'm going to do. Oh, it. you're going to give us a warning. I'll trust. I'll, okay. Well, I'll do it during or after because I'm still going to do it. And okay. It wouldn't matter. But usually, my douchebagging, my my douchebaggery, completely. It's because I'm an idiot. Not because okay. not because I'm diabolical. Oh. What do you What do you got next? <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. Is this podcast going well? The Magic Eight Ball. Signs point to yes. <laughs> Magic eight ball, sir. You remember the fucking eight ball? Yeah, of course. And what did you, what, okay. Whenever you had toys, I always was curious about how, what it was and how it was made. Like, I was always worried about how it, not worried, curious about how it was made or how, like, who came with the concept? Who made the thing? What did you make it out of? And I, like, just the whole steps. Plastics. The whole, the, remember the liquid? I always was like, what's the liquid made out of? Because I think it's just dye, blue dye no, and water. No, dude, it's, I looked it up. It's double dark Pepsi. <laughs> it's Pepsi non-clear. <laughs> it's Pepsi non-binary clear. Right. Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, it's Dr. Pooper. Yeah. That's the other one. No, it's Tab. It was Tab. It's they definitely tab double dark Tab. Sales were going down. Yeah. And they're like, Coke's like, hey, Magic 8 Ball. <laughs> Can we give you some liquid? <laughs> We've got Please. liquid. We've got liquid ad nauseum. Cause, cause, um, ad nauseum. Because uh, sucralose and aspartame replace saccharin, so we don't need even need saccharin shit anymore. So we're we're going shooting down the further down the line. Did you have a magic eight ball? No. Did you have any of the things we've mentioned so far? Uh, n- n- other than like Coke all Zero, of the like, liquids okay, I well. had. <laughs> uh, I never did Zumba, and I had, did not have a fidget spinner. So How? no, I, I don't have anything on my list. This is or your list. Okay. Twitter world. Hello. Hello, Twitter world. If you have Southern Comfort Clear, Pepsi Clear, 
a tab, a Coke Zero, <laughs> and a Zima. I would like us to put that all into one drink and try it together. Yes, with that, a motorcycle that, double injection. Oh, yes, with the helmet of doom. <laughs> helmet of the helmet of doom. <laughs> this Sunday. <laughs> Have you ever seen a movie called The Goods? No. With Jeremy Piven? No. He's a used car salesman. Fucking best movie ever. I'll get. I'll let you borrow it. I'm not kidding. I think you would actually enjoy this one. Or you'd call me with some fucking thing because you're like, I don't like this about it. But I'll be like, okay. But still, best Dude, movie I ever. sound just like that. That was really good. I know. It was, well, no. It's a, <laughs> you don't sound like that at all. I know. It sounds in here like that. Just uh, it's like, so grady like that? What I sound like is... But faster and louder. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good that you've headphones so you can turn, just turn me down. It's yeah, smart. just turn it off. Well, in this movie, The Goods, he talks about how his first like conversion, like how he got the thrill of selling. He had a thing called a hippity hop. A toy that he bounced around on. And his kid down the street had that trike super duper three wheeler that everybody wanted with the tassels and the whatever, the super rider. And he traded in his hippity hop to get that kid's super bike. Why aren't there adult big wheels? Uh, they're just called bicycles. No, but they should be super they're low just, to the ground. They're just and they should have a they should have a cup holder for a twenty four ounce Modelo, and then you should can't put, drink and drive. Okay, it's a fucking big wheel. Okay, but you and, can't drink and ride either. Let me finish my sentence. And then in the cul de sac, you could put like sand out, and you could do the turbo slide like you did when you were seven. But you've been drinking. Why don't we have adult big wheels? I agree. This is what we need. We need an adult park that has uh, big wheels that can fit up to three hundred fifty pounds. <laughs> That's we a need, big, big wheel. We need slip and slides to get to places. Like, not yes. not just a it's slip like and slide. It's like the monorail, but different. Yes. It the mono slip slide. slide. It would have, it would be this plastic half tube okay, almost. But would the, would the slip and slides be full through. of jello shots? Oh, uh, stations. No, but shouldn't you slide on the jello? We, yeah, but you don't want to waste the jello or the alcohol. Yep, yeah, so. non alcoholic jello would be the slide, and then you get a jello shot when you get to your okay. final destination. I like it. Yes. Th this sounds Jello great. land. Um, well, we adultotopia. Yes. Uh, no, adultopia. 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 That's a porn shop, dude. It probably is. Probably got a fourth. It's like a four X movie. <laughs> I don't even know what they do in four X movies. What that, no, it's like four D, but different. <laughs> no, Super well, bright and boom. What do they do in triple X? What are they doing quadruple X movies? I don't. Even, I don't even want to know. Oh, uh, I don't. Yeah, I, I mean the shit they do in triple X movies. I'm pretty blown away by. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> blown away. I want to blow well, you away. I'll tell you one thing. I'm not blown away in triple X movies. <laughs> Probably more stroked away. Um, <clears throat> me, me, me. So coming <laughs> coming off the hippity hop, oh. the hippity hop was like this little bouncy ball with a handle. The yeah. pogo ball. Do you remember the pogo ball? No. It's a disc. It was a ball with a disc halfway. It looked like Saturn. And you stood on it, and you did yes. it. Yes, you, you had to clinch. You had to have th inner thigh Susan Sarandon thigh master strength. Yeah, thigh master's on my list. Thank you. Uh, did I precog fucking did. thigh master? You I didn't did. even. That just literally just came into my yeah. head because yeah. I forgot how you had to do it. Because I'm, I'm going to show everyone in Twitter world. He's doing a little. So dance. I'm going to stand up. So, so basically, what it was this ball, and you had to stand on it, and you had to this inner thigh strength to hold remember. the ball as you did this. Don't go through the floor. And there's a pogo ball, and you bounce up and down. So it was like a pogo stick, but different. Yeah, it was a ball. It was the stupidest fucking invention ever. It was it fucking. I think people died. That that's the big wheels. That and then they out. killed the parents who bought them for their. Oh children. no, that's terrible. But the pogo ball, it was that was the thing. It was like you took a pogo stick, which is a fucking cool thing. It was a stick with a spring. Remember the old springa? Like, remember the fifties? Remember boing. like the the way shit was built and fitted with all metal it was parts. All, and it, was, <laughs> it was freaking steel. Yeah, bitches. it wasn't fucking plastic shit. It was fucking like industrial strength, right? This thing's this flimsy plastic fucking rubber ball with a plastic fucking disc. Bunk. <laughs> it's so bunked. I don't even want to debunk it. That's Just how bunk bunked. it is. All right, so pogo ball, and now I'm out of really out of breath. <sighs> is that the most workout you've done in a while? Was four, yeah, actually. four jumps. <sighs> um, you might have to call. Uh, do you have nine one one? You have my address. Can you call nine eleven? <laughs> Here, just call him from my phone. It's got my address. Okay, cool. What would you get next? Bro? Uh, next, I'm not going to say because it's probably on your list. Say it. No, no, I, no. I don't have a list. I, I'm I'm doing this off the call. I already got. <laughs> All I'm right, just, I'm going to skip it anyway, bitch. Uh, 
<laughs> Watch me never say it, and then it never gets it. I'll get to it. All right, metal lunch boxes. I don't have that. No, I skipped the other one. Oh. How come metal lunch boxes? Fucking A. They did make a comeback, and you huge comeback. Lunchboxes.com does exist, and I have used them before. In plastic, no, though. they are metal, but they don't have the thermos. You know what I mean? And so, and you, there's certain ones you can't get. Like I always wanted the A team, and that they still don't make that. But they have a Lunchboxes.com is really cool. I really like metal. It. I remember the metal lunchbox. A lot of people who probably listen don't, but it had the single. Single latch. Clap, that that One hook. Latch, yes. It was a hook, that, that thing, that little flippy thing. Yeah, correct. It wasn't like a click down. It was no. an over and under, like correct. with a spring-loaded thing that un- Yeah, and the thermostat, the unscrewed. Did I ever show my Star Wars thermostat downstairs? Thermostat or yeah. thermos? Thermos. I'm sorry, thermos. <laughs> Not thermos. You have a yeah. thermostat? I've got a Honeywell. Is Darth Vader on the thermostat? I've got a Honeywell Luke, Sith it's thermostat. It's 68 degrees. Reven- revenge of the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luke, I'm so cold. Uh, metal lunchbox, yes. I just meant like they kept lunchboxes, but they went plastic. I'm Correct. saying the transition to plastic is where you and I, because once again, we come, you kind of post cog the metal 50s pogo stick thing. Because post cogged. Uh, back in the day, in my curmudgeon days, when things weren't were so much better, <laughs> metal. Everything was made out of metal. It wasn't fucking plastic. We didn't know what fucking plastic was. You got tetanus shots back in the day because you got rusty shit caught in your feet and like scratched. when my sister stepped on a nail yes. on the be- on the beach when yeah. I was like three and now it's like plastic and you're like ah I got BPA in my fucking oh foot. no BPA <laughs> <laughs> you need a BPA shot tell us more about the metal lunchbox what's your favorite you said eighteen well I was what did you have uh I, I I'm pretty sure Empire Strikes Back which I you know obviously I still wish I had it I don't. Um, I had a couple others. I think, uh, what's that guy's name? Steve Austin. Six million dollar man. Oh, I'm like, Stone Cold Steve Austin? That no, been not you. Stone Cold Creamery. No. Um, ice cream. No, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steamery. Yeah. Wrestling guy. I know. No. Uh, you look alike. Hey. Uh, yeah. I think I had six million dollar man. Empire Strikes Back. I don't remember what else. Scooby-Doo. Did you have a Scooby-Doo one? I have one now. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's why I remember the Scooby Doo. Yeah, you I have like six lunch boxes right now. I love it. I wish the thermos would still come with it, but the stuff, yeah. the materials in the thermos, not safe. No way, no, bro. Uh, I, I think I was in seventh grade, and it. I used to put ice, and then I would put like fruit punch or some shit, and the the glass on the inside of the thermos broke. Broke, and I was like, "How is the ice not melted yet?" And I'm like, "That's not fucking ice." And it was glass and floating. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Same thing. And I drank, I didn't know till after it, but it never got, I never got it in my gullet. You never goodness. got dead? No. You never had gullet? It was field day at my elementary school. Oh, you yeah. know how, like, the Pride Day where half the teams with one color oh. of your school and the other teams the other half? No. And I brought the thermostat. Yeah, you did. We had oh, we never had that. You never, your Catholic school? school, dude. I feel like your school would do that. Like, what are your two colors? Grade school? No, high school. High right? school. Well, elementary, 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 pride school, yeah. Pride Which day. one? Any of them. Uh, grade school is red and white. So you, didn't you have like a red and white day or anything? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we had that. It was like that. Do you know the and mascot it, of my of my grade school? A tampon, red and white. The swallows. <laughs> so hence Delicious. the swallows go back to Capistrano. The so that bird, was, it was a quadruple X movie. Yeah, it was, it was a 4D movie, Swallows. sir. <laughs> oh, man. That's beautiful. I love it. That's a that's a one I would never have thought it was in the lunchbox, but that makes so much sense because you actually have them. You're still like using yeah, them. Yeah, I still have Empire. I got an Empire Strikes Back for Christmas a couple years ago. All right, my next one. Yeah. It, pre, it, it kind of predates like VCR. Mo- we grew up with a lot of like action adventure movies and we're like really into right with all the... You know, Schwarzenegger movies, and yeah. the Stallone movies. Like, you and I Terminator. kind of grew up, like, the 80s was a big machismo kind of, like, yeah, the whole action decade. adventure. The whole action adventure kind of genre really took off True in that in that genre. And to that vein, though, before we had video, though, we could only see, like, still pictures or something. Okay. Do you remember the thing? You know, yeah. <laughs> the fuck was the it called? I, I, as soon as oh, I tell you, you'll shit. know it. But I'll... 
but you, so basically you put this. You disc put the in, reel. It was a slideshow. You put the reel in. You put the slideshow in. Yeah, but it, and it had to be light activated. I don't know if that was not a battery. They might have put a battery in with a light no, you just later. Looked up at the but sun. you had to look up at the sun, right? Yeah. This, these are unpowered. See, these are solar powered. Solar. <laughs> see, solar, solar ahead see, of its time. So way ahead of its time. Uh, what's it called? Viewmaster. Yeah. Okay. That's what it was. You just. It was like I take your to the slideshow. I remember having one. I remember watching one like. Oh, I, was, I had so many of those. Like National Geographic type ones where right. you go through, yeah. like, oh, here are the pyramids. Dolphins, here, right, here all the, the different, national, yeah, statues. all the different, yeah. like the Serengeti animals, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right, man. What, uh, what, what's your next one? Swatch? Swatch. Swatch, watch! Which the I time have. was six o'clock on this Swatch, watch, no time to waste, got a date, can't be late, hey. Which I have in my possession, I'm wearing right now. The one it. I just got, I got it in 20. 13, I think, 2013, I think. Do 14. you remember the TV show Parker Lewis Can't Lose? Yeah. Synchronized swatches. Remember when they did that? No. That every time before they went on their little... Uh, what Adventure? Yeah, adventure. I was trying to think of the Donnie... Not Donnie Brook, but <laughs> Rigamarole, whatever the fuck they did. When they had their shenanigans, shenanigans. they would go synchronize swatches, and they go... Whoo, and they all had swatches. I just remember... That's where swatch... I had how many of those? Uh, how many I don't of those you had? I had one. Do you remember the shark watch? No, it came out after the swatch. I had both. I had both the shark. I had the swatch and the shark. So swatch is still around. Yes, but I was wondering, did it? It did it go away for a while? Because obviously, it lost a lot of popularity. It died in its fad dumb in, in, in sales, but Correct. it never. In, it was. It's not exactly like the perfect timepiece. No, it's not. It's all about fashion. Right. Nothing about. And that's what it was going in, and then it caught somehow. I don't yeah. know how the fuck it caught. And Somebody famous must have wore it or something. Definitely Brad Pitt. So Back in, in Legends of the Fall. I don't know, prior, dude. Prior to True Romance, bro? Yeah. Netflix? Prior to Thelma and Louise? No. Anyway, ill regardless. One, you can no longer get the little rubber bands that go over the face. The, the protectors. Yeah, I can't guard. find those at all. They don't have them. I like, snapped through so many of those. Yeah. And I, I had a couple of those. And then this one I just got, you know, a couple of years ago. But Abel gave me his 1986 swatch. And I put a new battery in it, and it started to work. But the second hand got stuck on the minute hand, and it won't he won't keep time anymore. So I took it to the jewelry store, and I took it to a swatch store, and they're like, sorry, there's nothing we can do. We can't fix it. I email stupid Switzerland, and like, we're really sorry. If you remove the plastic face off of it to fix that, you destroy the watch. I was like, son of a bitch. I'm so pissed. Well, how the fuck does it get bent underneath when it's hermetically sealed in the first place? Maybe I, that's your manufacturing I, problem. Or Swatch. Did, you know, did, maybe maybe Swatch should be like, this is a great interest story for you to go, hey, we're going to give a brand new Swatch. You get back in the news? I mean, think about how smart that would have been. Yeah, no shit, huh? You should right? be your marketing director. I should fucking you be speak Swedish? Switzerland? Bur -de -bur 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 -bur. No. Nor Norwegian? I can do... Bur -de -bur. I mean, I can do Muppet Swiss. Swiss. <laughs> Everybody can. Muppet Swiss. And I can do Charlie Brown's adults mom i can want 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 i can do the adults so i've got okay. a lot of names okay. i've got a voices down i love that swatch is a great one because I, I still love them how I many wear. how many did you say you would have bought actually yourself oh my god three like, or four or ten a, 20? well the problem is i didn't have an allowance and right my dad that's was what an i mean asshole, so uh i only had one but if i would have bought okay. dozens I, I think i probably would have bought three over my time three to five because i want one in every color okay like you know blue they were black. What, 30 bucks i think it was sure, 30 bucks right yeah. Something like they're that. probably like forty nine now. They're probably a little more. They're probably like a hundred now. No, I didn't spend a hundred bucks. No, no, no. Oh, you bought one. I you bought, bought that one when? This one is 2013, 2014. Oh. Wow. Anyway, do they, and I wonder if they make anything uh, bigger than that. But um, eighty five dollars seventy. Yeah, there they, you go. I don't think I paid that much. Wow. But. Four vintage ones used for thirty four hundred dollars on eBay. Oh fuck you! An ultra rare branded Swatch stopwatch for four thousand dollars. That's dumb. Two thousand Swatch nineteen ninety one Christmas special. Nineteen ninety one. That's even late. That is late. I that don't, is even late Swatch. Yeah. Because we were in high school and I was 89 to 92 in high school. Well, we've been right in that range, but $2,000 just for this one watch. That That's dumb. Asking. I'd rather get like a Stormtrooper helmet for that much. We had to spend like 39000 39, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I do it. Right. But it's only ninety six oh nine shipping, shipping or something. Of course. Of course. They're all yeah. in. <laughs> I, swatch watch is great. The other one I get also 
if let's just get all the watches out of the way, G Shock drove over it with a car. How many of my but friends still bought G Shock? Right? They are, but they, I think they actually discontinued G Shock. Oh, Casio. It's Casio. Um, okay. And but you drove over it with your car. That was their whole yeah. thing. It's like tough as nails. Arr, you could shoot at it with a gun. Yeah, I'm sure your fucking watch is gonna make a fucking handle a bullet round. To the... Yeah. Um. All right. What are, where are we at? What do you Swatch got? Watch. Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> let's, 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 we're just going to do this the rest. Next. Uh, Mr. Potato Head. <sighs> Fucking oddly, odd potato-y looking ball. Well, it was a potato. I never had it. I don't think I did either. I didn't, but I know people who did and yeah. pieces were missing all the time. And they were all over the place. I'm going to hold that one off for my next one. But yes, Mr. Potato Head. And then basically what it was, and I think Potato Head made it big in Toy Story. Was he, Is he not a yeah. character in Toy Story? Yeah. And then they have a lady potato head. Don't they Miss have a Mrs. Potato Head? That's like I, Mrs. Pac Man, but different. Uh, I apologize. I don't watch that. So I didn't know. I, didn't ever I believe, yeah, because she had the big man. lips. Yeah, I think it was. Yes. There was a Mrs. Potato Head in that. And they switched out body parts and you just. Oh, yeah, because she ears, was also eyes. in Toy Story. Yeah, they got knocked out. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Mrs. Potato right. Head, I think, exists in Toy Story. I don't think Mrs. Potato Head. Did they make a Mrs.? I think so. They did. I think they did. You're right. Yeah. But the original was from the 50s. Wow. Of all things. And that made it good into the 80s. This is mid-80s. Um, that's pretty impressive. 35 years later. It wouldn't happen today, I don't think, because of technology. Because this is different. Because we still work with our hands or played with our hands a lot more in the 80s. Oh, uh, because it's not digital? From, right. We haven't gotten away from that you yet. You need a Mr. Potato Head video game. We need a Mr. Potato Head Like app. Mario Brothers, but no, different. Mr. Mr. Pap. Potato Head app. Yes. P-H-A. <laughs> T P H A. Right. Tuffa. <laughs> like Hordash, but different. M- I'm sorry. Muffa. Mr. Okay. Potato Head app. Okay. Mishap. M- it is a mishap. Also, Shannon. That's why I'm shutting up. <laughs> what do you got? Going forward. Yeah. I'm just going to start part of the, the toy and you're going to finish it. Well, okay. Yeah, great. Play with that. Am I doing that too? No. You, okay. I'm, I'm doing it. You don't have to do anything. Okay. But if you want, we can play. I'm, I'm going to do that, except a couple of them don't are only one word. <laughs> you know, Megsy and I play the Alexa game. Uh, okay, what's that? So what we'll do is we'll we'll say Alexa, play this radio artist radio. So like Alexa, play Iron Maiden radio. Yeah, right. And then before we ask it, Megsy and I guess what song's going to come up. Oh, how? So it'd be like Beatles radio, right? For example, so like. like Hey, Alexa, play Beatles Radio. I'm like, I think it's going to be yesterday, and okay. you think it's going to be Paperback Writer. Oh, it's going to be, I want to hold your hand. And it's, I'm home. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. So we've been wrong many times, but I sometimes you get it. This depends on like how one hit wondery the, the band right. is, the artist is. It's kind of actually a fun game. And we had talked about the Alexa thing. I do want to do that one. I just have oh, to remember the Oh, you finally commands. come around. Well, I think we can talk about the commands. I just didn't know how we're going to make it work well, in that way. Well, she needs to be in here. Okay. We'll, and then we'll uh, we have her do we, fart sounds. Maybe we just do some of them, but then talk about the other ones. Okay. Fart it depends sounds. on how yeah how well that works out. Okay. Fart so sounds. Anyways, your turn. Dirty so, jokes. Games. Okay. Here Toys. we go. Yes. Here we go. You're gonna guess the second word to this. Two words. First word. Mix. Tape. Yes. Yes. Thank God. Like, match. Mix. Match. Mix. Oh, no. No. I'm just. <sighs> Because that's kind of still where it's still in my lexicon, my friend. Well, I still make mixtapes on CD and on do USB you? disc. Yes, on USB thumb drive. You I do. Have, you mean mixtapes? I have on thumb drive. Uh, how many? A myriad. Why? I don't know. But it's, do you give I still them call to people? Mix, I still call them mixtapes. I'm saying I still put them all together. I, I made you a mixed USB stick of our love songs. <laughs> what the? F- you still seriously? No one said mixed record. Well, I guess it wasn't. It was only on tape. It was, it was always recorded on tape. But no one went to mixed disc. Yeah, no, there's yeah, mixed they CDs. Mix, yeah. yeah, but they still call them mixtapes. They usually, it's yes. Like the, it's the style. But that's not, when's the last time anybody did, when's the last time you did one Say of your anything. weird I don't know. USB things? Oh, it was years, 10 years ago. See, easy. so 15, when's yeah. the last time anybody did uh, any time of a mixed? 10 years. Anything. Tape, CD, MP3, oh, MP4, actually, USB. Can, I'm sorry, with technology, it, the reason it, does, it doesn't exist because it doesn't exist. It's the phone booth. Playlist, yes. bro. Playlist oh. now. All they do is share their Spotify, Spotify. playlist. So it's they, it's not even you t- making a tape for them. It's them pulling what you like oh. and then p- curating it and sending it out like yours, right? Like 
it's got the algorithm. So Spotify, in. a Spotify a playlist. playlist is like a mixtape. Yes. Because I'm not Spotify yes. savvy. So okay. you can add songs, right? Okay. And that's your playlist. So the playlist is basically like a mixtape. However, the difference is mixtapes for us were like about love and yearning, courting someone. Right. right. You're in the middle of a late, like you're in a relationship. It's like, I put Peter Gabriel's In Your Eyes on this. I put Guns N' Roses Patience. What about I put I Every Rose Has Its Stone. From Skid Row. I put Firehouse's Finally yes. Found Love of a Lifetime. Oh, this is my yeah. mixtape for you because I love you, man. And then it goes in the trash when you break up with her three months later. And I go, you know, I fucking made this <laughs> thing. And you burn it. And you fucking like, ah, ah. I, I never burned a mixtape <sighs> before. I've made many mixtapes. To, and to no avail. Many, many Damn failed. It, that's terrible. I've made many failed mixtapes, man. It's it's hard putting out the matzo ball and not getting the matzo ball back. I, I don't even know what we're talking about. Once the matzo ball is hanging out there, it's pretty okay. much exposed. So what more about the mixtape? What's your favorite memory about the mixtape? Do you uh, remember your last one? No. Just curious. Would it be in the 80s or 90s? Oh, yeah. Like 90s, 90. High school? Early 1990 high school. probably. 1991. Riddle. I don't think I ever made one for a chick. I mean, I made one for, like, me. <laughs> so, yeah, you did make it for a chick. <laughs> yeah, shit, I did make it for a chick. But you for calling women chicks, bro. Uh, ladies. Women. Women's. Hey, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Beastie Boys license ill. That yes, should be on the list. It should. Ready? Yes. Speak. And spell. But that's still, that's still bang, around, bang, isn't bang, it? Bang. Only in Kanye West songs. No, I mean, isn't that still a toy? T eighteen cat. Isn't well, that now? It's like leapfrog and all that other shit. No, but <sighs> it's a lot more. Isn't that still a children's toy, though, bro? What mashing buttons with letters on them versus having it interacted like a leapfrog where you touch the screen like an it's, iPad? Yeah, <laughs> let's. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's like a two year old who can navigate the iPad better than I can and reprogram so, it. Yeah, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm going to say C-A-T that spells cat is not really a current toy anymore. They probably exist still. But it's like, you know what it reminds me of? Target retro, like retro games. Like where you can get 300 games on one little fucking device. I just want the I just want the retro throwback of the original game. Yeah. Do it as close and accurately of course. to the dimensions as possible. Maybe different. But no, no other game. Not like loaded like that. I just want like in this case, I would want this specific speak and spell retro. Right. It doesn't have anything other than just what it did back then, and then charge extra money for it. Three hundred dollars. Right. Because you know the technology. Yeah. Plastic. <laughs> plastic. Hey man, plastic wasn't invented till like at least the thirties, right? No. When did it? Seventies got big, right? Well, well, Tupperware they was had plastic 50s. in They had plastic in in the World War Two, I think. They yeah, I'm just saying. When did it become when oh, it become yeah. like in in your house? Right, but I'm just saying when it was even invented was probably thirties or twenties or thirties, right? Yeah, I guess. maybe even maybe even early, maybe later than that even. But that's not really a fad. Plastic no, still no, around no. today. No, I'm just saying. Because <laughs> well, I said materials. We were talking materials. About. Speak and sell apparently. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, it is still available from 2019. They did retro it, See? my friend. They brought it back. I'm bringing it back, bro. Love it. Would you like to buy one? No. They're only twenty two forty nine. That's cheap. Good thing I know how to spell cat. D O G. Fuck. P U S S Y. Does it have an H in it? Silent H. It's silent H. <laughs> That's correct. How did you know? C H A T. It's chlamydia no, it's, cat. It's speak and STD. Okay. <laughs> speak and HIV. Okay. Um, next. Yes. Are you ready? I'm liking this. Like, tell me the first thing. Are, are you ready? Yes. Angry. Birds. B sold. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I I'm angry that I know that so quickly. I never played it. I got caught for like a week. Well, that's good. You escaped. It was a hardcore week, but it was. A it week. was hardcore. It was hardcore. So it's, yeah, Angry Birds is dumb, and no, it's a little app, and it, you shoot birds to kill pigs. It's still around, and they've they have a new they have what's they had the a new movie, one? dude. Yeah, they did. They did have a movie, but they had a new Angry Birds app. I think they launched Super Bowl or something. Sure. But what I really like, yeah, going off of the app games and this, the new urinals. That have sensors in them, and there's a video screen, and you, you try to actually do a task with your pee. Shut the front door. Yeah. 
They do. They have it in like AAA baseball things where you try to hit like home runs, like to like oh what base God. you have to pee on, and then they got other games where you just put out fires and stuff. It's pretty cool. I, I think that's kind of fun. It makes it makes urinating in the toilet in a dirty, disgusting bathroom so much more enjoyable. That smells like pee and hot dogs. Yeah, it makes you want to stay there longer. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. That's terrible. Bro, what do you got next after it? I'm going to like, give you just the company, and you're going to tell me everything about it. Okay. Sony. PlayStation. A uh, Walkman. Boom. Yeah. PlayStation Sony is good. Sony Speak good. and Spell. No. Walkman. Yeah. The, I still have one. What? It is in that closet. The tape or CD? I have the tape Walkman. Not the Discman. Oh, Discman. Remember it became a Discman? Right. Discman. I'm not sure. Is it Discman or Discman? Because if you're Jewish or not, with two ends or one end, depending on, one would be like more Germanic and one would be more... I don't know. Akashic. I was just concerned about the uh, fact uh, that... I'm sorry. Oznash? Uh, Oznashi. Sorry. Sure. Oshkosh Bagosh. I was just no. concerned about the CD skipping when you're walking around. Yes. That was why I thought the tape player was so much better. Much better. But what you did, the, the solution to that was make the, put the disc man vertically. Right, of course. Because it wouldn't bounce this way. It would only bounce more this way, like a record. Yeah. So you try to keep it vertical as well. Yeah, much but if possible. you like clip it on right. your shorts at the you gym. Bounce, you, you move. It, it, I just don't. The disc man was not an active uh, audio device. You'd have to use the Walkman or the newer Things that were coming around, like the iPod, the one gig. The first. The, shit, the one megabyte, the 512 meg iPod that hit like eight songs on it. Right. You know, whatever. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> eight low risk. But that's. No, we've come a long way. Yeah, of course. But the Walkman. I still have it. I have a tape in it of, I was in an old, I was in a band, a cover band called Jumper. They still exist in Philly, in the Philly area. I was in that band. They actually won VH1 Cover Wars. There was one season of VH1 Cover Wars. This band won it. I sang with them. I was fortunate, blessed to sing with them for a little while. Um, and I have Janine was the singer, and I have her uh, warm up tape in my Walkman still. Wow. We would do warm ups together before we went on stage. We'd sing to the walk. We'd have the Walkman on and play and go, ah, and just do all our, re- our scales and stuff. Yeah. And she gifted that to me. I thought that was such a That's like, cool. the nicest thing. Yeah. Fond memories of Yumper. all these things. Yumper. Yumper. I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. Okay. All right, sir. What you got? I know which one's next, actually. No, you don't. Okay. Okay, which one's next? No, no. No, you tell me which no. one's next. I'm going to turn it around once you tell me. Just fucking tell no. me. Trolls. Oh, I had Transformers. <laughs> well, that wasn't a flash in the pan. I mean, that... Yeah, it's true. That... Well, well, Transformers has been... Since the movies came back out, that's been in the mainstream of everybody's brain for... What twenty years? When was the first one? Yeah, but I'm thinking the toy. The I understand physical toy because the physical toys aren't. I don't see in the way because children play differently than they than we did. Because I we had the physical. Yeah, of course. And you yeah. watch it, smash it together, make yeah. sure it fit. And if, oh my god, his arms out! Oh, you didn't put it. In, you got to put this piece in I first. Had then. Oh, so you just went like this? Like yeah, a, it, like was a, a it was a one folder. <laughs> My dad was cheap. Uh, I so had that's called, a, that's called a book. Yeah, right? open, it's a hint. It's a hint. pop-up book. You dipshit. <laughs> okay, trolls. Yeah, they're the little plastic things with the furry hair on top. Love it. Different which colors. Were super popular for like three minutes. Super popular. Super. And people popular. collected like thirty of them. Have you heard Jimmy Fallon's troll doll? No. Jingle. Thing? No. He does impressions of different bands doing troll doll jingles of songs that they would have written. May I, may I share one? Sure. And I'll put it on YouTube, because I'll put the, the YouTube link on our, I will put that on our list. But he would do this, like, I bought a troll, I bought a troll out for you, the one you wanted was blue, but they only had green, yellow, yellow. the Coldplay song, oh, right? Coldplay okay, Yellow. Yeah. And he does a U2 one. Ugh. Do, do, do. Troll doll all in the streets. It's pretty fucking funny. And he does a Dave Matthews one. It's really funny. Slayer? Uh, no. Okay. Iron Maiden, I think he does. No, that's, don't lie to me, bro. Don't tease me. I said me. think. Oh, you're uncertain. No, he didn't. But if I say oh, think, at least I'm not committed. Fuck you. You should be committed, bro. Troll, troll doll. So what do you got after trolls, dude? Something you didn't have. 
and that's the okay and i know well no only because you mentioned you didn't have it but i have to i i'd be callous okay. it, would be, it would be very poor of me to not mention the atari 2600 oh yeah for reals dude the atari 2600 arguably the first real consumer electronic product that true lead, that led to everything led to the shutdown of arcades yeah and the resurgence of arcades and pinballs more pinball games yeah it's more physical yeah uh, but definitely arcade games it changed everything changed everything game online changer. computer Went from gaming the first time you're not hey go out and play or right hey kids st- stop bothering me and go do something yeah they didn't go outside with a ball they stayed and sat down with yeah. a stick and a it just changed the game good or bad i'm not i'm not putting right a judgment it was what it, it was it's the world is different because of our ability to have this imagination on a screen versus us going out to get it physically. It's just a different way of doing it. Absolutely true. Um, twenty six hundred was the one, and then they had the fifty two hundred, the thirty four, the the one in between, and then the fifty two hundred, and then the seventy eight hundred. I think was the biggest, and then it died. So I was saying it's twenty six hundred, fifty two hundred, seventy eight hundred, and the Commodore sixty four was all in there because that was Atari as well. Uh, and then the ET. Commodore 64 was a computer though, wasn't it? Yes, it was a computer. It wasn't it wasn't oh, a that's gaming right. it was system. A com- it wasn't a gaming system. No, it was a com- com- it was I'm like saying the, it came out in the it same was like time. The, it's it was not- like the competitor to the first Mac. Yeah, it was Tandy TS one yeah. remember the green screen thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a personal computer. So right. it, akin to that, I'm I didn't mean it's the same thing. Akin okay. to that, okay. I apologize, I misspoke. Akin to that, the Commodore 64 and the Atari twenty six hundred kind of defined their oh, right. their personal entertainment or personal distraction rules because yeah. how yes you guys think you don't play on computers all day what do you think your phone is it's a fucking computer of course that's all you do all day you're tweeting and you're doing that good bad or indifferent that's not a judgment thing it's just the way we now are different the way we communicate the way we interact the way we play yeah but and that thing was awesome and then the et debacle we should probably do the whole E.T. story. E.T. debacle. Did you hear about that fucking yes. shitty movie or game? Shitty game. The worst. Mm. Shitty beef. The shitty chicken. The worst. Anyway. What you got next, bro? I have a question for you. Yes. What is Pophilip the Pterodactyl? Patom, it's Patimothy? Patimothy the Pterodactyl is what? Are you talking about the TV show or just in general? The thing that's over there. Dinosaur. What is that? Dinosaur. No. Oh, uh, Beanie Baby. Ta-da. Yeah, that's. I was going to say Beanie Babies. Yes. Beanie. Mother. Why didn't you say Beanie? Blank Babies. You should have said Blank Babies. And I would have well, been like, I would totally have been like, Dumpster. Dumpster. <laughs> d- dumpster uh, fire of uh, hilarity. Pr- prom. Prom fail. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Butcher Babies. No, Sorry, that's, that's a metal awful. band. Do you know what Butcher Babies makes me think of? What? That one Beatles album. Did you ever see the Beatles album that's worth like $10,000? No. Okay. They had a print. I forget which album it was. It was the four of them in like butcher coats with baby, like babies decapitated and blood everywhere. The Beatles? Yeah, the Beatles. Sounds like Cannibal Corpse. Then what happened was it was such a disturbing cover that the they then grabbed them as many as they could back off the shelves, glued something on top. So you have ones that are the old original. You've got ones that have a new, the new thing glued on top of the old one. And you've got the ones that are just the, the reprints. Right. The prints. After that, sure wasn't the so white you have album. Three, you have three different kinds. How crazy is that? That's crazy. Uh, but the but the it makes that album cover so valuable. Desire, yeah. yeah, it's so valuable. But anyway, Beanie Babies. Yeah, what about how many did you own? Zero. My neighbor owned hundreds. Yeah, he, he was on the spectrum. He had asp. He was diagnosed. He was a child with Asperger's, and he's obsessed with two things: Beanie Tacos. Babies. It would have been cheesesteaks if it was Philly. Don't you oh, <laughs> come on, man. Just because you're sorry. West Coast, you had that West Coast filter, bro. So we don't even know what a taco. I don't think we knew what a taco was in 1980. Well, you other did. Other than Taco, taco Bell. Bell. Because <laughs> we didn't have. Yeah, you had Nachos Bell Grande. Yeah, but we certainly didn't have Dell or we don't have Jack in the Box. So we no, never had tacos right. in that way. So um, he was obsessed with two things. Beanie Babies and electric fans, ceiling fans. Nice. He could tell you from the model of a ceiling fan what parts like were the blade and the motor and the thing. Have them all strewn in his basement and everything. And he, genius in such a different way that we can't even wow. understand. Fucking genius. Anyway. Who owned them? Everybody. You, but you. But me. I didn't Except, have. Well, that was a gift because it's a pterodactyl. 
What is is it because it's peraltodactyl? What's, it's a per, what's, yeah because Abel because it it's a pterodactyl. Abel gave it to me as a gift. But, oh, because of the raw thing. Yes, raw. We're gonna do this rest of the show. How about that? Okay, great. Guess what? What? You're the only one who's gonna see this. I no. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's true, huh? With our two views, sons of bitches. Hey, what? Everybody, get on YouTube. Watch that shit. Okay. Yeah, he has a pterodactyl we're, on his head. We're handsome. We're both handsome, strapping young gent, middle aged young gentlemen. Sure. With low T. <laughs> speak oh, for okay. yourself. I I'll speak. Uh-oh, for Oh, your pterodactyl's moving. He's he's gonna stay put. I'm gonna beanie baby him. Dar- oh, down double right. back tape. I think you just smush them. Okay. Because they're beanie. Oh. Babies. Remember the beanie bag? Beanie bean bag. Bean bag chairs. Those were oh, big yes. back in the day. And now they have like, I saw a, a mall store that is like yes. the bean bag chair I store. I think it's called Love Sack. I'm not kidding you. I'm not. I'm not making that up. It's for real. Look it up. I believe you, and <laughs> it just makes you think, is that another 4D movie that we're hanging Whoa. into? Whoa. The love sack is a, right below my twig. The love sack. Yeah, I get it. Twig. Yeah. Uh, Low T? How precog was that? That's weird. All right. <laughs> Sir, let's see if you can get this. I don't, this one might be a little obscure, but I'm just going to go. Okay. Uh, game. Of Thrones. Game. Boy. Fuck yeah. I love you, man. Word association is dumb. Game Boy. Nintendo Game Boy. Well, it's, it's funny. It just tells you how deeply seated these yeah. things are. We've what? We've missed it after one, but like not even really one guess. Yeah. Pretty much everything's Correct. been one guess. Speak and spell. Like I said, right. speak. Art. <laughs> but Game Boy. Tetris. Right. And I still play. I played Tetris yesterday. It is that game for that system was just, it was handheld Tetris, really. It really, I never really played too many other games i had golf and some other ones but tetris was the one i played a lot on that little handheld machine i'm gonna piggyback off that and Please. go older school older. where you couldn't switch out the cartridges because game boy basically game yeah. boy was a little handheld black and white lcd screen that you had different nintendo game cartridges yeah. and it would play tetris or golf or cart you know whatever go kart whatever the racing yeah or shooting this that, and the other and but it was like it's pretty rudimentary but do you remember Mattel football? Yes. Deet, deet, deet. Yes, I love that. Deet, deet, I did have and you that. Had to, to score the touchdown, yeah. and you had to move the dashes. Deet, 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 LED yeah. dashes and everything. Yeah. That's I, I love one. that with the red. Yeah. I bought that retro. I think I have it somewhere, but we'll have to whip that I out. I thought I did too. I crushed it. After, now that, it's like the old games are so slow. Like uh, going back to Atari. Atari's Pitfall. Pitfall's like a safari game. Where yeah. You can swing on like things. Indiana it's, Jones. Yeah, Indiana Jones. It's so slow that you. Your brain in today's gaming world is so fast yeah. that you overcompensate your speed. You're too fast for the game. Where right. Back in the day, you were always playing catch-up. Like Frogger. Right. But mentally, that, that's how much we've almost evolved with the train, how malleable and how well we adjust and adapt to things. It's amazing how well we adapt to things. It's like now it's like stuff was going backwards or in slow motion. Whoa. All right. Uh, and is that? Yeah, that's all you got. Uh, that's all I got. Okay. I always got more. Next is, it walks downstairs alone and pays and makes a clinkety sound. A thing, a thing, a wonderful thing. Everyone loves a slinky. A slinky, a slinky. It's fun for a girl and a boy. Slinky, slinky. I it don't is know any of the words. Toy. I think it's a toy and then fun for a girl or a boy. Oh, I fucked it up. I'm no, so it's sorry. okay. I wanted to talk about that. Okay. Do you remember... Okay, there's a trick you did with the slinky. It had to be metal, not the plastic ones that came out after. It had yeah, to be the metallic the bi- ones. Right. It used, ladies and gentlemen, things were made out of metal back in the day. Stop it. Um, do you remember doing a trick to make a cool sound effect with that? No. Oh, the back and forth? No. Oh, no. Not the accordion. You never did this? No. You never put it to your ear, held it to the ground, and shook it back and forth? No. It makes a Star Wars laser sound. Shut the front door. No. Like, accurately. No joke. I wonder if that's where I you get the song from. I will buy a fucking slinky, and I will. I, we have to find a metal one if they make them. Even we'll get eBay's got one, I'm sure. But it goes because the metal hits itself and reverberates in this oh. little tube in your ear. It's almost like a conch shell thing, and it sounds exactly like the late. Like I used to do it all the time because I would imagine like I'm watching Star Wars again because it's not like we had like it. you're in a Tie Fighter. Yeah, and we're just and you could just imagine the picture with the sound and hear it. It's so accurate. It's amazing. Wow. I love the slinky. That was a great gun. Holy shit. He walks downstairs alone in the pairs. What do you got? 
I can't do this one because you'll you'll know it right away. But I'll just I'll say it. etch a sketch. I did have that. I was gonna do uh. <laughs> see if you're you were like, gonna uh, get it, but like uh, uh what? <laughs> yeah, something blank a uh, blank etch <laughs> sketch. Two knobs. Still, I never, still I never could do shit. Dude. Shook it. Did you own one? I did yeah, not. I did, okay. and I could never do anything but straight lines. I could never do anything creative. And really bad thing. Yeah, I could yeah, never it was be creative. Just like, people would do like like George Washington and shit. I was like, how the fuck did you do that? I I did a bunch of boxes. I could do a maze. At, right. at best, maybe like a three spot maze, like just right the Tron cycle thing back into the <laughs> that swirl. was it. Yeah, <laughs> swirling down the drain. I, I agree, but I never owned one. I did. Yeah. So whenever I went to like my cousin's, I was like. All up in the etch sketch. All up in the etch sketch. Because I did four D. Yeah. All up in it. All right. That was a fun. And then you shook it to get and loose. It, yeah. And and another one is that impression ones where it had oh, pins. Oh yeah. You push it on your face or your, only, or the middle together. finger. Yes, the middle finger totally. And you left it on your desk. Yeah. With it, impr- <laughs> it looks like Han Solo coming out. You try to do yeah, the carbonite scene. Yes. <laughs> I did with the face of carbonite. Uh, that's funny. Everything goes back to Star Wars, from slinkies Duh. to pin, pin the pin pression thing. Pin pression. I think that's what it was, right? Pin pression. I don't know. I think that's what it was called. That sounds accurate. Yeah. Uh, the last two on my list, you already precogged uh, the thigh master <laughs> and cabbage patch kids. Suzanne <laughs> Summers on the thigh master. Gotta love it, dude. I. Don't, it was like a fucking thirty minute infomercial. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm so fit. I don't know why I I somebody I know had one because I think I. I mean I've touched it. I've seen it. Like I must. It must have been like at a garage sale or something. It's so weird. So if you want to get your thighs fit, try the Thigh Master. I love it. Everybody. Do you have any other honorable mention? Well, I have the final one, which you I didn't want to steal pre- from you. Oh, oh, okay. Well, may I? Uh, Go ahead. Well, you did two, so let's just do the Thigh Master. We'll get back to... We talked Cabbage Patch, right? We already did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm i going in my mind about thing... Here's one... Here's I've got one that I didn't have, but I thought it was really stupid. But I, it was dumb. And then I've got one that, like, I had on me all the time. A troll doll? I thought you said dildo. That's troll like, I know. I thought, doll. I swear to God, I thought I heard dildo, and I'm like... Wait, he said troll doll, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard it. A dildo, that's weird. Skip it. You remember this Skip game called it. Skip It? <laughs> it was a, fu- it was basically was a sh- collar, a leash around your ankle that you slip your yes. foot into. And, it like and try bar. not to die. And you had to yeah. jump over it and it had a counter or something yeah. on it and how many times it would go around. That, I bet you 42% of all children died using that. <laughs> The death rate because you know I'm forty two percent. I'm closing on the the most deathly tool I game, you which we weren't going to talk about yet. Yeah, but skip it. I've got two more, so I've got. Well, I'm sorry. I've got honorable mentions after that. All right. So please go with yours. I only have one, and that is the Rubik's cube, because I did have that, and I, had that I, I never could it. figure it out. So I would take a screwdriver and I would jam it in there and pop all the pieces out and put it back together correctly. Because I couldn't figure out how to make... I couldn't figure it out. Because I'm... I don't know why. I thought that I was the only one who did that. <laughs> no, and I also took the stickers off so that some of them would be like... Some of the squares would be black. So I'd make designs. Like a checkerboard. Or then the next side... You wouldn't side, make designs. You'd make I'd designs. take the stickers <laughs> off. So like one, of, stickers. one of them would be like a cross. One of them would be an X. One of them would be checkerboard. Like... Because I was weird. I get it. Oh, are you ready for the weirdness? Yeah. I carved a triangle out of one the middle sticker on one of the sides so that I knew it was my Rubik's Cube. Whoa. You couldn't put your name on it or anything because yeah. you, you couldn't. There wasn't a way to God do that. God forbid you leave your Rubik's Cube at someone's house before there. Right. And you're like, that's mine. You're like, uh, is there a there, triangle there should on be, it? There should be a black triangle because you cut it out. On the, it should be a black triangle on, on the, the white orange sticker. side. White sticker. Oh, white on side. the white side. It's okay. on the white side. Because it really, it contrasts it really well. It's yeah. the black and the white. So. Yeah. Um, and then they're like, oh, boom, busted, boom. bitches. Busted. Um, to that end, I used to pry the shit out. I popped that shit off more times. And I could probably put it together faster than somebody could do the. Yeah, exactly. Did you, have you seen that? I talked about that, right? The Netflix documentary? Yes. 
Did you watch it? No. I have no. I I don't even know how you can. I don't know how you can look at this pattern that currently exists on a cube with its combinations and go, and then be done. I don't. I, 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 I well, don't. you have, your mind has to work completely different I, than ours. I, and it, it the the amount of training that has to, it has to be. I mean, obviously it's pattern recognition, but 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 it's at at the nth degree. I mean, it, we are computers, but damn, that's just really fucking impressive. Advanced. Hey. Okay, this is what the one side of the cube you see. How, how, okay, what do you do? Oh, three up, over, two over, one down. Like, you probably even see it. Yeah, they're, it's not kinda, even, they're not even watching to see if it's correct. They just know what to do is it to like get chess? it back. It, it kind of becomes almost like 10,000 hours, like that moment where it becomes auto- automatic, right? Like autonomous. Just It's amazing, though, because I don't think they look at whether what the result. They go, and done. They can almost do it blindfolded. They, they, they don't need to. It's crazy. I don't know. It's, I'm impressed. Uh, yeah. I'll end on one. Okay. It's probably one of the reasons I got the diabetes. We, I know I always carried them in my pocket, and I had a lot of them that had uh, a stormtrooper on the front, or it was Darth Vader, or it was a Star Wars character, or other characters. Am I supposed to characters. guess? I'm going to try to. It was a candy-based it's Pez. product. Pez is Spencer. Damn, you're so fucking good. Yeah, I never had any of those. Uh oh, Pared Open his mouth. mouth. You didn't have Pez dispensers. Not one. What, dude? We had like we always like it was like one of our collectible type things. Oh, oh I got the new Darth Vader Pez dispenser, and he's like, <laughs> 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 he's like, he just opened his mouth, and it's like a little. He'd yak up a fucking candy in your face, and it's just pure sugar. How it's pure not like gloriousness. It? Yeah, how could I not eat it? Duh. But yeah, and then you know, I had all different ones, obviously, from cartoons to. Yeah, you can get anything. Yeah. Looney Tunes. Yeah, it's kind of like a lunchbox stupid. in a small handheld candy dispenser. Right? Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Strawberry shortcake. I like blueberry long cake. Whatever it takes. I like blueberry long pie. I like all of those. Cake and pie. Cake and pie. Well, that's been fun. Did you, You're not going to talk about the one? Oh, yeah, I guess we should I mean, end on that one. <laughs> it's the one that kind of brought it all up. Um, the, the reason we're even talking about this, something came up and... A game popped into my head. It was played in the backyard. And what you would do is you basically take a hula hoop, which was your target, and you put it on opposite ends of your yard. And your yard, I mean, you know, if it's a, even if it's a third acre or something, it's still pretty, you know, it's hundreds of feet, a hundred feet or so in between. You got to launch pretty good, 50 feet, whatever. And then you got this big metal fucking thing. It looked like a harpoon slash dart slash javelin. And it was affectionately called. A lawn dart, lawn dart, or jarts, jarts. But so it was half metal, half plastic. It was like, like all back in the day. It was all weren't metal. there like plastic fins there on the back. May have been to make fins it for the fly? aerodynamic thing. Aerodynamical. I think they added that, but the initial one I think was just like a metal fucking anchor, basically. What? I don't I, remember those. I think well, and then it had the. I think it had the tail on it and whatnot. But I don't think they had as all. The, did they have the tails and fins? I don't all know. The way I never 50s? had that shit. I think. Every child who played that game died, except for maybe me. <laughs> the horror stories you hear, think about it. You're taking a two pound metal hunk of. It's two pounds? Sharp metal. Pretty. It's got to be fucking pretty weighty. I'm going to I'm gonna look it up. But look it up. basically, you toss this thing as hard as you can to get it as far as it can to try to land it in this hoop while children are playing underneath. <laughs> running around, <laughs> running around underneath, playing Nerf ball or Ooh, playing doll or playing doctor. That's probably Whoa. that's probably behind the shit, but um, uh, that was behind the bushes, <laughs> right? So that's what you did. How many of those came down, like almost straight down, like into fucking heads and like or feet, brain damage or killed like yes. through someone's foot yeah, or chest or any like yeah. imagine you threw it to like like that way. Imagine if people adults did that and they were drinking. That's really really bad. People, you know? Yeah, and I think that's what it was. It's like. Dad had a couple beers and fucking launched that and shit. Killed, and was like, Oof. did he kill the cat? <laughs> no, Timmy. We're Timmy. gonna need another Timmy. Just like the dinosaurs. Uh, I need another Timmy. You killed Kenny. When you first sent me that, I'm like, what, what the fuck's a jart? <laughs> That's right. Tell me your stuff. Art. I'm like, I don't know what a jart is, dude. So for like a day, I thought you misspelled jorts. Which are? shorts. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, we're gonna talk about 
I, I, what the fuck's a jart? <laughs> You're like, we're going to talk about fashion. I mean, we'll talk about jean shorts if you want, but oh, jarts. Oh, you mean lawn darts? Yeah, javelin darts is what we call. It. That's why it's jarts. Javelin I didn't know darts. it's called jarts. Because it's like javelin, too. right? Uh, right. Like javelin but you could throw it underhand too. No, no, absolutely. But I was like, did you misspell jorts? What? What is going on? So confused. What is the weight of a jart? Tell me. In I'm going to say point eight pounds. You're going to shit yourself when you hear. I don't want to poop you. myself. Two point six four pounds. Shut the front door. One point two kilograms. It came up. Jart weight. Jart weight. So the weirdest Google ever. Two and a half pounds of screaming metal <laughs> launched hundreds of feet. Wait, in the wait air. for it. Wait for it. Thirty-two meters per second squared. Coming back down. Gravity. Well, well, basically, well, basically, just comes down the same speed it went up. So no. whatever you launch at, yes, it is. Gravity. Yeah. When you throw it up, yeah, it comes down the same exact speed that you launched it at because it slows down to zero and then builds back up to what it was when it's back down to the ground. Okay. Minus air resistance. Bro, oh, you went to Ember Riddle. Air resistance. No, but no, but what you're saying. What's the drag comes, coefficient it come of down a jar? Faster. It comes down the same speed. Okay. That it went up. All That's right. how gravity works, bro. Okay. We need to have a Newton. Not. I don't even like that guy or his figs? apples. Do you like his figs? I do love figs. Okay. Well, beautiful. So anyway, imagine that guy shooting a two and a half pound fucking honking metal object, say thirty feet in the air, say throwing it at probably twenty miles an hour, thirty miles an hour to get it up. Just to think you're launching it? Because you can get pretty good velocity, like maybe 40 even. like Terminal velocity. Yeah, uh, that's pretty true. Anyway, 30 mile an hour, two and a half pounds, uh, eight-year-old skull. Yeah, okay, hang on. Do the so, math. seriously, how many people died? I mean, there had to be d- dozens there, there were deaths, so many right? injuries, right? And it was a game since like the 50s, and they kept pushing, like sweeping it under the rug like it wasn't a big deal. Any child dying from a game where you toss something? It's not Atari 2600? Is, is not something I don't think you should do. I did, I did you know. I'm going to look at charts, death statistics. Can you find Charts. What else popped in your head? Death certificates. Can you please talk? <laughs> statistics. Stati- statistics. Statistics <laughs> and analytics. Snacks. Thank you, snacks. <laughs> what? Charts is not good, dude. Charts, 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 charts. Okay, charts. I'm, I'm just, just going to read the first sentence in this, and this is going to tell you all I need to know. Okay. Lawn darts had also killed two other children, a four-year-old and 13-year-old in 1988. Commission van- voted to ban lawn darts and sales completely. So just this, <laughs> just the first sentence of something that's the first of the tops of the beer gooks is lawn darts had also killed two other, so three at least. <laughs> Three children. At least. Four-year-old and a third, a four-year-old. That's rough, man. They Did they put the fucking like, blanket next to the fucking hoop? Like, or was dad drunk? Or Yeah, seriously. He's like, watch me, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. <laughs> or fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how drunk he was. Watch me pull a jart out of my hat? <laughs> he tried to do a bullwinkle with a jart, hopped up on 14 beers. 14, I moosed it, that's all. 14 Zimas. He was a little Zima heavy All on that. the Zimas, bro. And, and two or, White Claws. Or Southern Comfort Clear in yes. Pepsi Clear. Like mixed together back then. Double that's Clear. probably would have done it. Oh, yeah, delicious, dude. <laughs> all right, man, you got Southern Pepsi else? Clear. No, that's that's you, all I have. Do you know, a fan, you know what a fad I'd like to start? No. Rating, reviewing, <laughs> subscribing, and following us, please. Downloads and stars. It'd be really and comments. Nice. I love to get the fat. Like we've been, <laughs> we're I think thirty one. I think we're still. There. You're so obsessed, dude. I'm obsessed because we're at ten thousand downloads, bro. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. To Tambian. Thank you. All of the tambourines. Worked very hard. I'm really. I'm. Yeah, you I'm just do. Grateful. We. I'm just grateful for all of this. So it's just awesome. But ten thousand downloads. We need more. We need more reviews. So let's make that a fad. Yeah. Let's make let's make our reviews the jarts. Well, no, we don't want it to be discontinued. Um, <laughs> shit. What keeps going? Speaking spell. It got it got resurgent. The swatch, bro. The swatch. The swatch watch. Let's keep the swatch live. And Legos. All right, man. Yeah. Well, there's always you know as always we 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 can't end it without the the, the two both of them both uh, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. <laughs> <laughs>